something in the air when the Phillies and Braves get together and the Braves of course winning six divisions in a row but it didn't matter when the Phillies were able to knock them off two years in a row. He is a Michigander who found his way to Atlanta Spencer Schwellenbach on the hill his numbers that he wants you know he wants as there is ball four and Schwarber such a dangerous guy in the lead. On the ground right to second base Merrifield Arcia and a little too slow developing to turn to as the covering middle infielder Turner is running he gets to second as the ball lands and he'll make his way to third very easily the Phillies have runners at first and third and now the Phillies in gear this is something that they've done so well all year long and it's a page out of the 2023 Braves book score first inning run to get on the opponent Nick Castellanos. Third base side, it's Urshela spinning to second. The turn is not in time, and the Phillies take the lead. And they will face a guy coming off a complete game, the second of his season, Christopher Sanchez. Yeah, what a surprise he's been for the Philadelphia Phillies. May have the deepest rotation in baseball when healthy. 3-2 is ball four. So both pitchers start their night with a leadoff walk. Both pitchers who don't walk very many. Marcelo Zuna. And that one ends up in left field. Inning has gone walk, strikeout, single. And the Braves with the runners at first and second base versus Sanchez. And base hit could tie the game. Three and two. Up the middle, second base. That's smothered by Stott. He gets one at second. The turn is there. Terrific play by Stott to lay out. And what a turn by Turner. Four, six, three, the Phillies turn two to finish off the Braves here in the bottom of the first. Loriano climbing in, facing the lefty Sanchez. Christopher Sanchez, first pitch swing, this ball ends up in left field. And a leadoff single for Loriano. One, two, two, two ball. Softly tapped out towards the mound. It gets by the pitcher, and that's going to be a base hit by Duvall. So a good start here in the second inning. Back to back singles, and here's Arcia. One two and he struck him out. It's a fastball. Bat now in the hands of Sean Murphy. And then he uses that change up off of it for strike three. Well, the Braves with back to back singles to get things started. Runners at first and second no one out. But Sanchez has rebounded to strike out Arcia and Murphy. Well, now two down and it's up to Gio Urshela. Gio Urshela in the air left field side and the newest Brave comes through. Ground rule double by Urshela that ties the game. If it doesn't hop over the wall, the Braves would have taken the lead. They sure could have. A timely hitting has been a little bit of, well, hard to come by for Atlanta. But the ball game tied up. Back to the top of the order to Michael Harris. Harris breaks his bat to second base and Stott grounds out for the final out. One run in the inning on three hits. Well, a little bit like. What Aaron Nola dealt with last night, traffic on the bases all throughout. I mean, the Braves seem to be putting far more pressure. These are the innings they're going to have to capitalize and get that one run when they have a chance. Oh, one to Olsen. And he swings and rocks one out towards deep right field. Back to the wall. Now Castellanos over his head. That's off the base of the wall. It's an RBI double for Olsen. And the Braves take the lead 2-1 to one here in the bottom of the third inning. Strike three. It's the John Smoltz first pitch. On the ground, left side is second. It's a slide, and then the throw over to third, and a nice catch by Wilson to create the rundown on Olsen, who dives back in safely. It was the right play until it wasn't on the infield for the Phillies. A smart idea by Turner to just spin it to third, but then Olsen outflanked Philadelphia. A top shelf decision by Trey Turner. Oh, it. it you know if he would have got that tag if the throw was lower he would have gotten the the result a lot easier but what a play and strike three there it's a slider dropping out of the zone Braves leading for the first time tonight it's a 2 1 lead for Spencer Schwellenbach he'll face Harper Castellanos and Stott here on the top of the fourth inning and he struck him out on three of the same pitches golf shot in the air right field side. Off the curveball. Schwellenbach has really found a groove. Spencer Schwellenbach on a pretty good roll. He's retired 10 straight. He's got a 2 1 lead into the top of the fifth inning. Quick timeout leads to a ground ball. Second base side with Merrifield. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball. Strikeout number six for Schwellenbach. 
Three quarters swing, strike three. Strikeout number seven, 14 in a row, set down by Schwellenbach. 2 1 Atlanta. Spencer Schwellenbach has been outstanding so far. He's allowed just the one hit to Bryce Harper in the first inning as this pitch is served out to center straight away. And Michael Harris, the second, is underneath to make the catch. And Schwellenbach has been awesome. Trey Turner sends a first pitch to right field. That's going to be caught by Laureano and an easy inning for Spencer. I tell you, this is the point in the game where you feel like if you're an Atlanta Braves fan, you're like, we should be up four, three, and it's a two to one game. Similar to the last night's game where the Braves were up two to nothing and the Phillies came back and won that game three to two, which is really pivotal when you think about where the Braves are in the standings. Mm -hmm. That ball's cracked into left center field, way back there to the wall. It goes and clears the fence. Spurs playing time, but Duvall hits a rocket out of here. And Adam Duvall cleared the dirt. He cleared the warning track. He cleared the fence. Three to one Atlanta on Duvall's 11th homer of the year and his 30th RBI. Another leadoff man region. Yeah. <laughs> and only the sixth home run this guy's allowed all year. Is absolutely in charge. And when you're in charge, you finish the deal, which he's doing. One out away from completing a big seventh inning. That's off of Schwellenbach. He'll try to track it down and run out of time. So the first base runner for the Phillies to reach safely since the third hitter of the game and suddenly the tying runs at the plate. This ball into right field on a line that's down and rolling all the way to the warning track off the slide from Loriano. He'll spin it in throw coming to the plate on Stott is not in time. Philadelphia is back on the board. This is a game again three to two. And how about this standing ovation for Spencer Schwellenbach. A great reception for Schwellenbach. Pierce Johnson the first man out of the bullpen for the Braves. Runner at second and the one two is strike three. So Pierce Johnson comes along slams the door on Marsh and maintains the one run lead. Three one. That's ball four. Three two coming. And he missed low and in. It's ball four. So back to back walks. The go ahead run at first base. Harper going to be on deck while Turner bats with two men on. Looking for a double play, which is difficult against Turner. Third base. Urshela snares it. Gets it to second. Turn is there. Humongous double play against a man that doesn't hit into many of them. Rysel Iglesias has been unscored upon in 14 consecutive innings. He'll face Bryce Harper. So here's what happened last night. Marcia hits this ball. He kind of stares down Harper on the way by, gives him a look. And Harper basically said, yeah, I don't care. These are huge moments. And it's why you get paid to do the job. Strike three. Big out number one for Iglesias. Wave and a miss. Strike three. One strike away. The crowd gets up. And energy is running through your body. Wave and a miss. Electricity from Iglesias. And a one-run victory for Atlanta.